Let's descend into a world that is almost invisible to us. Here are the structures for sewage collection, sewage removal, and sewage treatment. Almost half of them are more than 25 years old. The tooth of time is gnawing incessantly here and leaving its marks indelibly behind. In light of the quantity, the demand profile in the sewage system has changed dramatically. The mix of what flows through the system has also changed. It's a destructive cocktail. Depending on the region, next to natural biochemical processes by which biogenic sulfuric acid is formed, that could mean additional stress. Fertilizer and de-icing agents were the most prominent culprits here. But also, unprocessed industrial sewage and acids, car wash fluids or chlorinated hydrocarbons attack the aging sewage system. Mechanical wear, construction errors or violations of static requirements and norms, and pipe placing regulations do the rest. The damage pictures are known. Corrosion, cracks and leaks slowly deteriorate the underground system. The construction materials of the past can't withstand that for long, with the consequence that sewage spills out or groundwater leaks in, which leads to considerable problems in many sewage treatment plants, which have to filter out this additional amount of water. In short, the damage to sewage plants, which not only occurs in sewer mains, but also in pumping stations, intersection structures and rain overflow basins is a growing problem. In addition to what they do to the environment, they cause an increasing strain on the economy. But how does one guarantee the operational security of the sewage system technical equipment against leaks? Replace it all? That's too expensive. The alternative is here. Sensible, durable renovation. The prerequisite for an appropriate renovation is the precise analysis of the damage picture. In collaboration with the responsible engineering and sewer construction firm, an appropriate strategy for correcting the damage is developed which accounts for local conditions and the demand profile. The EPA product line canal is the solution for the durable renovation of sewage systems. Mortar technical techniques, which are based on careful selection of raw materials and specific binding agents, can in fact economically correct most of the damage, with a guarantee. The high-performance Epinex flesh and dished WF is deployed at places that are damp. The powder is just spread on by hand on the damp spots and worked in. The surface sealant or layer can then be applied without danger of adhesion loss. For placing and jointing manhole sections and brick wall work, and for correction of damage on these structures, EPA Unimyrtle is the universal repair and jointing mortar. Fast setting time and easy application are the trademarks of this product. For repairing ruptures, closing joints, setting of half-shell clay pipes, and much more, the shrink-compensated fast-setting EPA Unimyrtle Rapid is the repair mortar of choice. This product can be worked very well and is already watertight in 30 minutes. The increased chemical resistance is a guarantee for lasting protection of the facility. With its fast binding time, Epinex Stopfmyrtle quickly and effectively stops water incursions. Epinex Stopfmyrtle is also suited for placing saddle sections and sealing pipe inlets. And it has a special feature. This mortar expands as it sets, does not shrink, and is absolutely impervious to water and thereby solves the problem of seeping groundwater once and for all. In areas where very high chemical and mechanical resistance are crucial, EPA Dicht Schlemme PH+, EPA Myrtle Canal PH+, and EPA Unimyrtle Canal PH+, are the right choices. Together with EPA Liquid PH+, they seal absolutely reliably to a pH value of up to 3.5.
Corrosion caused by regionally occurring biogenic sulfuric acid leads to heavy damage of the pipelines. This is where EPA 2K silica myrtle helps. It's a silicate-based, two-component mortar with very high chemical resistance up to a pH value of 0.5. Leaks in pipe sockets in the house connection area in pipelines with a diameter of less than 600 millimeters can be injected by robots today. In order to do that, one needs a fast setting cement-based injection mortar with high green stability. EPA, Fepress Myrtle Canal and Canal S are best suited for that procedure. After mixing, the mortar is pumped with a mortar pump to the robot and is injected between the robot shield and the form. It is the first choice when it comes to the refilling of cavities between new and old pipes in relining procedures. In training, the effective handling of the material by experts is taught on site. And that is just a sample of what can be done today. Find out about the entire EPA program for everything for sewer renovation.